Hey guys, so this is going to be a, probably a longer video, but I'm going to retire my player Bob Marley. Right now he is an overall 99. Um, just, I'm done really using this guy. I'm not going to make a new, a new my player or anything. Just, I'm kind of ready for a change, I guess. Because um, I've pretty much done everything. I've done like 10 seasons with him or so. But, um... Just in case you guys were wondering how to get in the Hall of Fame, and if you have 10 out of the 15, alright, so it says I got 10 out of 10, but there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I think, or 5, I think so 10 out of 15, so I got my 10, 10 out of 10, hopefully I don't fuck this up, but the guy video I just watched, you gotta retire, oh fuck, and... Hall of Fame server, thank God. So let's just do some watching. Oh, and then there's the achievement for getting to the Hall of Fame. But, see guys, I was going to make this video after I uh, uh, got the championship. I ended up losing. But, yeah, I'm going to go with respect. But I can say without hesitation that I would not change a thing. There's probably no bigger honor than being elected to the Hall of Fame. So in many ways, I don't even know how much I can say that would be worthy of an event of this magnitude. But like I've done throughout my career, I'm going to try my best anyway. I promise I won't get too long-winded, but bear with me as I try to share a little bit of what I learned along the way. My hand. I'm gonna go with wisdom. In many ways, I feel like I lucked into my life. I always played sports growing up, but my first love was baseball. And for a while, basketball was just something to do when baseball season was over. Eventually, I started to see the game for what it really was. In baseball, it's all about the individual. One player up at bat. One player on the pitcher's mound. One player making a play in the field. But in basketball, That's so true. it's all about instinct <laughs> and team chemistry and foresight. When I was younger, that didn't resonate with me. But as I got older, I began to really appreciate how special the game was and how much more of a challenge it was to win at a game that relied on teamwork. Even in my early moments in the NBA, I lost sight of that at times. At some point, though, everything started to click for me. And I became obsessed with finding a way to build the perfect team and ultimately to win it all. And when we finally did, that feeling of being the best, of being the most cohesive unit in the league that nobody could bring down, I can still remember it perfectly today. That sense of achievement, of great accomplishment, is one that I remember vividly to this day. It's the feeling I chased after again and again in my career. And not having another opportunity at it is the only thing that still wears at me here in retirement. It was an amazing run, though. An amazing career that I wouldn't take back for anything in the world. It was. It was fun. I'm going to go with honor this time. But, yeah, like, my player, he was just, he was very good. Um... If you're watching this, I got like I 10 mixes up. up on this channel about I just with him. Say, so go check him out. What a great honor it is to be able to follow in the footsteps of so many great players before me. Guys like Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, who paved the way before me. And guys like Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, and Paul Pierce, who I even had a chance to play with earlier. Paul in Pierce, career. my nigga. I looked up to all of them more than anyone else back in school when people started telling me I might play in the NBA someday. And to be here now, about to go into the Hall of Fame, along with all those players I grew up idolizing, means a great deal to me. And of course, I can't forget my family. My dad was out there playing ball with me pretty much as soon as I could walk. And I know his teaching both on and off the court are the biggest factors in why I was able to accomplish so many great things. And Mama was my biggest fan every step of the way. Love you, Mom.
And finally, thanks to Coach and all my teammates who made my journey so unforgettable. I couldn't have done it without you all. And without the amazing support of all the fans. Thank you. Thank you all. There you go. Oh, <laughs> that's my very, that's what I looked like when I started. I'm just going to take a look at all these. No pick. Alright guys, so that was the video, shit. Bob Marley is done, I guess. Um, Alright guys, please subscribe. Later.